Welcome to a very special anniversary editorial for Journalism Studies, Volume 10, Number 6. There's a sense in which I'm surprised to be still sitting here and telling you about all of this, because when I launched the journal 10 years ago, it was never my ambition or intention to occupy the editor's chair for more than five years at the absolute max. It's very hard work editing a journal with a day-to-day -day flow of articles. But I have to say, despite the hard work, I've grown to love the job. It's fantastically rewarding, and I enjoy it above anything else I do in terms of writing and commitment. But today's a day for celebration of the journal's success. This anniversary issue is a real cracker with eight full-length scholarly articles, book reviews, and all of the usual features. And I was particularly pleased to be able to lead with an article by Randy Beam, Bonnie Brownlow, Dave Weaver, and Damon DiCiccio, uh, drawing on their splendid study of the American journalist in the 21st century to explore the impact and implications of the current crisis facing journalism in the US for public service journalism. There's also Georgina Turner's much needed study of Diva magazine and the neglected area of lesbian publishing in the UK, as well as David McKnight's study of the Sunday Times under Na Andrew Neil's editorship and its move towards market populism. But enough of this particular issue, allow me the self-indulgence of reflecting back over 10 years, and I need to look at my notes here. When I did the sums, we've published 369 scholarly articles by some of the most distinguished scholars in our field. Bob McChesney, Ted Lasser, John Hartley, Mike Palmer, Bonnie Brennan, Lee Wilkins, Elster Benz, and many more. We've also, from the outset, made an editorial commitment to publish the work of young doctoral students and scholars. So, from top to bottom, the only criterion of selection has been academic quality. We've published work, my notes tell me, from across 35 countries, six continents, addressed issues of journalism studies in 47 con countries, and significantly and pleasingly, 35% of our published work has reflected women's scholarship. We've also reviewed 345 books, films, websites, pioneered new editorial formats like debates in which four or five journalists and academics get together to debate issues like who is a journalist and does journalism education matter? Three cheers and a loud yes to that. We've also published themed issues, Chinese journalism, the future of newspapers, political cartoons, European journalism. I think one of the strongest editorial features developed over the last four or five years has been theory review in which the work of distinguished social scientists like Ulrich Beck, Chantal Muff, Ziggy Bauman have been considered for their implications for developing and contributing to journalism theory. The feature has been edited by Mark Doys, Torsten Quant and Karin Wall-Jorgensen and I'm very grateful for their support and they've developed I think an important and very intellectually strong corpus of work. I need also to thank editorial and production staff at Routledge, Taylor and Francis, the publishers, my associate editors and editorial board, all reviewers of submissions, book review editors and contributors, but especially my editorial assistant Annie Rhys jones I don't want to speculate really about the future of journalism studies because like most academics I'm risk averse, which is why I don't work on a building site or in a circus. But I do feel very optimistic about the future of journalism studies, both as this journal and more broadly as a field of academic study. So thanks for your continuing support. Happy birthday, journalism studies. And many, many glasses of good cheer will be raised off camera. And now I'm off to the party.